Auto safety has come a long way since the federal seatbelt mandate became law in 1984. Today's cars can help you keep in your lane, show you what's in your blind spot, even give you an alert if you're drowsy, but none of the safety technology is foolproof, as Tony shows us in today's Behind the Wheel. It's been 18 years since the first car with automatic emergency braking was sold in the U.S. For the last two years, it's been required standard equipment on new cars. It works like this. Short-range radar detectors in the front end of your car spot objects ahead of you. If you're about to hit something and don't hit the brakes, the car will do it for you. The latest development in this technology is reverse automatic emergency braking. It's not mandatory yet, but about three out of 10 cars on the road today have it. It applies the brakes if it detects an obstacle behind your vehicle when you're backing up. The system works two ways, either by bringing the car to a complete stop. Or it will slow the vehicle down so when you hit something, you don't hit it as hard as you would if you hadn't braked. It's currently available on about 30% of newer vehicles, either as standard equipment or as option. How hard the system hits the brakes varies depending on conditions, but situations when this technology could keep us safe are common. When you are parked in a parking lot and you have a large vehicle next to you and you're trying to back out of the spot, you can't see because that larger vehicle is blocking your view. And that's a, a real world scenario that all of us deal with all the time. Unfortunately, when AAA recently tested the system in the parking lot scenario, the data showed that it doesn't always work. Reverse automatic emergency braking applied the brakes 65% of the time, but it only avoided a crash 2.5% of the time. The results were better when the test included a situation when a child might be behind the car, but far from perfect. The system applied the brakes 75% of the time, but avoided a crash only 50% of the time. In these specific scenarios that we tested, didn't work very well at all. Which brings us back to the main common sense point that all drivers should always keep in mind. We can let the technology help us, but we can't rely on it and say, oh, this technology is gonna work 100% of the time because it certainly does not. Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. Mm. I don't wow. know how you can. I, mean, yeah, I, I always trust my own. I'm too afraid you know what's, you know to rely funny? on it. Yeah. Yeah, for the first time in my life, I have a car that I drive every day that has the reverse backup camera. I never yeah. had one before. And I do find myself sort of looking at it and it almost has a better peripheral vision than I do. Well, it does. Looking around. So I, it's like I'm kind of saying, oh, I kind of get where mm -hmm. this is tempting. Yeah. Uh, but you really, you have yeah. to, you know, take the time well, to Well, often the cameras don't have the blind spot that your car does. You know, exactly. the, with the, with the yeah. thing. But this was such good, a good reminder. Yeah. I mean, nothing's foolproof. It's one of the reasons that the self-driving car scares me that much right. more. Right, exactly. Because that happens just, you know, yeah. all point. the time. It's yeah. self-driving, yeah. And I would bet there's a large percentage of people who have reverse automatic braking and don't even know it. I mean, yeah. that's the sound. I have no idea. I hate the sound it Check makes. your owner's manual. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it, it, that'll make you uh, stand up straight. Yeah. I, I had a rental one time, and um, it's what I do with rentals. I was out in a pasture, and then I tried to back up, and the grass was so high, it wouldn't let me back up oh, until I figured out how to oh, shut the thing off, huh. and then I could back up through it. So many questions. <laughs> I, know. And I don't even want to know. We don't have time Just don't rent a car to Andy. Do you want the full uh, insurance? No, I'm good. <laughs> we'll just take her as she is. It could be dirty when I bring it back, right? Oh, uh, let's go.